The last time we walked through Raycast's window management was almost a year ago, where I even shared how I think about hotkeys in this quick tip. Since then, a lot has changed. Giedra has joined the team this is, uh, and has added a bunch of new features to window management, making it way more powerful and way more complete. So here's an updated guide on how you can manage your windows using Raycast, including some features that just came out last week. First of all, if you're coming from another window management app, you can piggyback on those shortcuts by going into the window management settings and picking one from the list. Now, this is a good idea because then you can take it easy on your muscle memory. You can use the same hotkeys that you used to without having an extra app installed in your machine. You can search for window management in Raycast's root search to find over 50 commands. The best thing you can do right now is just try them out. Open a window and then go through the commands and see what happens. If you spot some that you like and that you think are useful, then you can start integrating them in your workflow. Choosing a simple pattern followed by a key that makes sense is the best way. I use the exact same three modifiers for all of my window management commands. Control, Option, Command, followed by a key that makes sense for that specific command. So for the left half command, it's Control, Option, Command, left arrow. And for the right half, it's the right arrow. So that's a great way to start. And once you get used to it, then you can start adding more hotkeys to more commands. Now here's an advanced tip, it's called cycling. If you're already used to using window management commands, then you can take it a step further with this cool setting. By default, it should be on. And what it means is that when you trigger a half command, like left half or right half, it will cycle through different sizes. And this is great because you get access to three different sizes just by memorizing one hotkey. Now, everything I've just said has been in Raycast for ages. So now let's talk about some new stuff, starting with custom commands. You can now create your own custom window command. And this is great because you can choose the exact size and position of your window. You can then give it a name and access it through Raycast's root search and give it a hotkey. Now let's talk about custom window layouts. Essentially, it's the ability for you to have multiple apps in different positions and sizes bundled under one command. And when you trigger that command, it's going to put all of the apps in the places where you've defined them, even if they weren't open. So I have this basic coding window layout command that simply puts my browser on the left half and my VS Code editor on the right half. And that's the setup I use whenever I want to get into a coding workflow. But we can take this one level up by actually specifying a specific URL or path or even a quick link to these apps. So I've built a custom window layout for when I'm working on my personal website. And what that does, similar to the previous example, is it opens the browser on the left but with localhost 3000 already filled in. And then it opens my code editor on the right, but with my project already open. And this to me is just so powerful. I can't wait to see the type of window layouts that you're gonna be building with this. This is window management in Raycast. Keep in mind the custom commands and window layouts are available for pro subscribers. If you're not a pro subscriber yet, then you can sign up on raycast.com slash pro. All of the other 58 commands, including aliases and hotkeys and the cycling option are and will always be free. And finally, for more tutorials and overviews, interviews, announcements, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.